So, um, I'm gonna talk about um, this mass airflow. No, it's not the mass airflow sensor. It's called the intake manifold air sensor. I just pulled mine out right now. I um, wasn't too sure if I was able to, but I did. Um, this is the one I'm taking out. This is the one I'm gonna put in. So what I end up doing is just unplugging this one, the throttle um, sensor, the intake sensor, and um, and then the sensor that connects to the um, the, the, the the sensor that connects to this. Um, to the intake a manifold airflow sensor so pretty much all you have to do when it's in there there's a little switch right here see this little switch right here all you have to do is just push it in and pull down and it'll come right it'll come right off pull on pull, um, pull pull in and it'll slide right down I'm gonna try to put this one in there. This engine's hot, so um, it'll be a good thing to do this when the engine's cold. So, ow. Can't even see anything. Shit. <sighs> I dropped it. Let me uh, get back to you guys. Let me pick it up off the floor and um, let me install it. So, that's why I, I have to explain things. But let me get back to you guys. Okay, well, the piece that fell down, I just got it. Picked it up. There's my daughter. She just came to say hi. And Vanessa. <laughs> well, it fell down there between the engine block. And, and right now I don't have a... I, I was able to get it from underneath. But uh, I had this tool right here. That when you pull it. When you pull this right here. Um, it opens up this. So I end up grabbing it from down there. So I end up pushing this down there. Grabbing the... Um, the sensor that fell down I end up grabbing it so that's a cool little handy tool that I, I got from Harbor Freight and then um, so pretty much what I end up doing is putting the sensor back in there so there is a sensor under the intake manifold um, as you can see if you follow the wires um, it's, the, it's right there Let's see. Well, if you follow this one right here, it goes up there, up underneath. So that's how you take off the uh, the intake um, air sensor. Um, it's because I had an engine light on, and I'm gonna show you guys the codes that I that I'm having. Um. Because um, the codes that I was having, it was telling me that I needed to change the, right here, this the um, fuel control, right here, the thing that has that rubber piece, that one right there, I had to replace that one, and, and then replace the intake air sensor. Um, I'll, I'll get, I'll get you, I'll, I'll get the scanner right now, and I'm going to scan the car. And they should have the, the codes on there still. And I'll show you guys what problem I was having. And I think the the airflow sensor. Um, I end up messing it up. Because I end up spraying. Um, I end up trying to clean it with brake fluid. Or brake fluid. Brake cleaner. So I end up. I think I'm messing up the sensor. So I think that's where I went wrong. But good thing I had another one. Hanging around. So. It's real easy to replace. It's not that hard. The only thing that um, if you have a, a stock air box, you have to remove it to get your hands down there. And it's real simple. Like I said before, squeeze this tab. Hold on, let me um, get you guys into focus. Squeeze this tab right there. 
and it'll come right off it'll slide right down and um, just remember what color wire that you have connected to here because that wire could, could will be able to connect to other um, um, sensors as well so make sure you mark the, the wire that you remove from here so let me um, go get the um, let me go get the uh, scanner and show you guys what I'm talking about. So the engine light's on, right there, and this is the code that I was getting. The intake air temperature sensor, one circuit range. Um, let me see what else. See, now I'm just getting one, one code, but I replaced this right now. I was getting another code, but it's not coming on here right now. It was it was about the the fuel regulator, the piece I was telling you that I replaced, but I already replaced it, so it's not showing up no more. But I already replaced the intake uh, manifold sensor, so let's see um, if it turns this um, light off and um yeah so that's about it and um if you guys have any questions or concerns about this uh re about replacing the sensor um, just let me know it's very easy and um uh, yeah so uh i don't know what to say i'm so tired i just came from work right now and um, I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. So now I shut off the sense, or sh I reset it. I erased the uh, the code, and then uh, after I replace the sensor, so now I'm getting um, um, no air codes. So it's a good thing. The engine lights off. So um, I just reset it all the codes the engine light top so now this car is good to go to get smogged there we go so pretty much it is what it is see you guys in the next video